replaceable text as defined in this. So using building themes. So, um, you know, I said that the purpose is so that the person that will use the theme should be able to use that wizard to change everything. But on this part, if we check this part, I could check the theme. You see that there are plenty dummy text there, like dummy text. So we should make it edit. Look at this address, for instance. The user of your team wants to change the address. They don't have to come here to change it. Normally, they would have just come here and changed it by themselves, right? But we want them to be able to change it easily. We don't want them to have to be locating where should I go and all that. So that's why we have something called replaceable text. So there are some specific things that the user normally would have filled before on the website. So we can just use that information easily. Some like the com the organization name, huh? the about us section, look at this, the address, the phone number, the email, hmm? which easily people would have filled when they are using the new website wizard, right? So how do we now use those texts? Those texts, uh, everything that is inside this set topic content. You remember this text, text that is content, right? So let's look at the standard replaceable text used in building themes. So remember, we saw this organization name, right? Uh, then short description about organization, more about organization, background history of organization, city contact info, street address, city, state, country, phone number, email address, social media, URL, e-commerce info, and so on and so forth. So these are the information we can use to build up our pages. So the first place to go to is the main theme layout. So that we update everything that can be updated over there. So where are the yeah, so we can change look at this one, Dublin twenty nineteen and all that. Um, the reason this is showing like that is because there's a JavaScript changing that information over here. And every time I save it, JavaScript is just updating. So for that, um, I'm going to go to code view. I'll delete this. Okay, then back to business. This is uh, about, about all, right? So I'll use the text content. We are done with this. I can close it. So I'm going to use the text content with short description about us here. Okay, I will use it to replace what is here. Okay, then um, that is that is it. Then the social media. Look at the social media links, right? With Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, RSS, envelope, right? So uh, we'll use Facebook. Facebook. Facebook URL. Facebook URL, then Twitter URL. Twitter URL. Instagram URL. RSS. Which one is RSS? 
So let's we don't don't deal with this one. Okay, this is a little bit advanced, okay? Uh, and where else should we go to? So let's say So look at it, right? It's so the moment somebody changes the information from the back end, right? It changes here. Do you understand? Also, this Facebook, the link, look at the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, RSS, and email. Uh, so we leave all these ones blank the way it is. Or we can just remove the icons. Okay? This one is displaying correctly now. So we are done with the main theme. Let's we now look at individual pages as well. Let's come to the home page and edit the home page. We look for dummy text we can change. So all these ones too are dummy text, right? All these ones too are dummy text, right? But they are we use another method for this one. We use another method for menu. We use another method for this. These are posts. Use another method for posts. We don't use static steps for posts. Okay. Then all these ones to their posts. We use another method for it. We use another method for this one. Then this is where we have the subscribe to newsletter. Okay. So this is a dummy text. By the way, what um posts? Do you know what posts are? So, any item, any item that is more than one, hmm? similar, just like, look at this one, it's similar to this one now, right? They have something in common. You, you, you have home politics, they are all men, right? So, they are, they use, use, you consider them as some dynamic, do you understand? All these ones too. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm? They have something in common. They are posts, right? And all these ones too, they have something in common. Hmm? Like all these things, they are recent posts. This one, they may be like, they are the trending posts. You know, things like that, right? So use another method. But things that just stand in by itself, like this one. Hmm? Just standing by itself. They are static. They are more like, that those are the things you use with notable text for. Do you understand? Yeah, so uh, especially things that are all these little um, tips on blah 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 and all that. So you know, remember that we have done this, this is working right, but we need to make this one editable hmm? so that when somebody installs this thing, they don't have to now be coming looking for where to edit. So let's go to code view. What text can we use for this one? Um, by the way, uh, we should use, we are going to use something within this, uh, within this, In this part, so
let's see. We'll use more about us here. So we save. Or we could do this because I don't want so much pressure here. We could do this. There's a way you can you can do this and this. Hmm? And use this and this in your text. And it automatically becomes static text that can be changed using the same method. Okay? This has been that um, subscribe to a newsletter. Individuals may want to change to whatever they want to change. Right? They may want it to be something else. Okay, so uh, when you use this in within your code, right, it be automatically becomes static text. So what are we going to do? Nothing. Just remember, it's with everything is within text. Hmm? Everything is within the text. So uh, I I do not cover this form inside. Huh? It's just within this text. So I click on save. And now you know this is working. You will know it is working. You will know it is working when you come to all the text that are here, static text. Or the UK organization name, blah, 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 all these ones, right? So all the static text will be here. So let's save it. So it should be here. So it could easily be edited from here. Uh, why is it not showing? Sure? Something is wrong. Okay, so don't let us waste time on this part. Let's use the methods described here. So more about organization. Uh, we we'll use it here instead. Then save. Then uh, we go to. We are done with home page now. Let's go to about. Click on edit. Look at this. Hmm? Uh, but we'll use something else for this, right? But all this, this. This is like a post, right? It's three. Hmm? This is one. This is three. Right? This is three. A list of three. 
this is like one here this one over here hmm? this text over here this text is one this is three okay yeah. so we are going to change this one to change this title as well So in this we can use about organization name. Okay. Then here we use this text. We can use this background history. understanding what I'm doing right here. So this is it. I click on I'm gonna leave this for now. Okay? The list. Then this thing here, this one on top of this one. Here, right here. Let's use this more about again. Here, okay. I'm leaving this list, uh, this other team members. So we'll come back to it later, okay. Then this one. Let's use the first text again here. Okay. And leave this list. Let's leave it blank. So this is about us is done. Let's preview the home page. You see this is here. This is looking right. Let's preview the about. Let's preview the about page. So this is looking right. This is right. And this is right. Okay. The next is the category. Let's leave the category. We are not using it. Contact it. Hmm? Let's come to contact it. Hmm? We have to do on every part. On every part in this step, we have to go over the pages again. Do you understand? The contact page, then we just did contact form. There are other things on the contact page that needs to be integrated. Okay? So we'll come back to contact page and click on edit. All these pages we'll see, we are still coming back to every one of it. We are doing it one after the different level of integration. Do you understand? Different level of integration. So for the contact page, we we have done the form. We have done the form here, but the address is here. We need to change these addresses to what is needed. So let's look for the address in the code view. 
the address in the code view this is it right here so let's come to where we have it here street address country blah 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 here so i'm just gonna copy it and i'll paste it i'll paste it here this is the street address city state country okay so i'll paste it here and i'll say street address city state comma country full stop okay then the phone number i copy the phone this is the phone number one right i'll copy this phone number i'll come here i'll paste it here okay this is the link to the phone or telephone number this is how to make a telephone work you use tel this double forward slash then you put the phone number. okay then email i come here i copy the email address i uh, paste it here and this is how to make an email link work you use mail to this then you put this okay then we are done you save and you preview so you see it's now showing correctly so if you click on this one now it will want to call hmm? but you click on this one it want to email okay so and everything here is working except this one we want to use something else for this one okay so we are still coming back here uh what else so we are done with this replaceable test because we have replaced we are going to come we don't need this category and this single for now okay we'll come back to these two pages but those are other pages we are done with it so we are done with this number six now to go to number seven uh number seven which is to embed widgets this is the most interesting part